This is a short demonstration today to show you how to uh, zero in span an integrator. Today we're working with uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific Microtech 9000. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to press uh, menu and then you want to press zero count and then you want to run the belt empty. You normally want to run the belt empty for at least 10 minutes. Typically if this is done in the morning you want to uh, limber up the belt a little bit so you want to run it for at least that to length of time and then at this point you want to simply press start and normally your test duration is going to be anywhere from three to five minutes long for the demonstration today this is I'm just using a 21 second uh, test duration so this will uh, run through here and on a countdown to zero and once we've achieved that it'll uh, compile uh, an expected error all right, so in this case, my error is uh, close to zero, so I can either say no to accepting it or press yes. I'll just press yes in this case. And what it does is it establishes a, a new A to D value for, for zero. Uh, these values you can record. And at this point, I'm just going to simply go back to run. The second part of this is you want to do a uh, span calibration. So right now it's set up for a default of doing it in, in RCAL. For this purpose today, I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, using a test weight, assuming there's a test weight on the scale. So I'm just going to simply exit that. I'm going to go back to menu and we're going to go into Cal data. We're going to scroll down. We're going to change our choice from RCAL past the chain and there's the weights. <clears throat> we're going to enter that and then now we're going to scroll down and i've got a test weight of 30 pounds uh, showing on the screen and so we'll leave it at that so at this point i'm just going to simply go back into menu span cal and now that you can see auto span is now set up for weights it's asking you to start and now it's asking you to apply the weight press start wants to make sure now that you're running the belt and now we're going to simply hit start <clears throat> so again this would have been whatever the default test duration was in your system hopefully something greater than, than three minutes and so this of course is a one with the weight applied it's going to show you a, a tons per hour of course uh, on the screen because we're employing a weight and once it times out, then it'll uh, come up with a, an, an anticipated error. In this case, you can either say no to accepting it or yes. I'm going to say yes. When you do that, you now uh, have an A to D value for span that's on the screen. And again, you should always record that value. I'm going to simply just press run. As you can see, it's given me an error or alarm to, to uh, remove the, uh, the test weight prior to running back to normal operation, which we'll do. And then at this point, I'll just simply go back to run.